Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy, aka Dr. Every Woman, and I am back. And you know what we're doing? Taking off the white coat. This is why I say that I don't buy into the propaganda that all vagines should look the same. Check this out. These casts were taken from inside. Volunteers vaginas. This view is from above. The narrow part is the entrance and the dished area is the location of the cervix. This view is from the side. Look how they vary in size and shape and skin texture, just like penises do. This is from underneath. Vaginas are not just a tube or a penis in reverse. They have their own unique anatomy. Look how different they are when you compare them side by side. Some are really shallow. This one is only 7 centimeters or about 3 inches deep, and the others all range from about 7 to 12 centimeters or 3 to 5 inches. The ridges allow the vagina to expand around what goes in it. Artworks are cast in beautiful lead crystal glass. You can clearly see all the details of the internal and external structures. Not only do they not all look the same, they literally aren't even all the same on the inside. Like, the fact that this was the cast and how each cast is so different, we are not all the same. This is the point. Hey. Okay. I want to talk a little bit more about that video. So, the vagina is such an amazing space, but you want to keep in mind that it is a potential space, which just means that the area is closed until it's open. At the top of the vagina where the cervix lives and where the top of the uterus or the bottom of the uterus is, there is a little bit more space. So if somebody had like a diaphragm or a nuva ring or something like that, that's usually where that would live. But the rest of the vagina is closed. So I think that they actually, this is just my speculation, I don't know exactly what they did, but I think that they put plaster inside of these people's vaginas and put it in there to the point of some level of tension where they could tell that it was filled, just to see how much it filled. Almost like blowing up a balloon, you know, like some balloons are small, some balloons are big. And it's like, well, how much is this one going to take before it gets to be a certain amount of tension? I think that's how they made those casts, because nobody is walking around with things gaping like large vaginas. The vaginas are closed. They may have a lot of space and a lot of tissue. But when you go in or when I go in with the speculum, I'm seeing the tissue separate. Like they literally separate like this as I'm going in with the speculum. So the area is closed on top of each other but I think that what they did was they filled that area with plaster and and just to see like how much volume essentially how big this vagina balloon would can get without causing discomfort it's always so cool to me that people's external vulvas are also different but I mean this is in to see how different the internal vaginas are from person to person. And I bet you I can guess, like, who's had a baby? Who has it? How old is this person? Because the tissues do kind of change in time. And then I saw a video the other day about, like, a woman putting some vinegar in her bath water and that making the vagina tighter before intercourse. So I'm like, I don't buy any of that because, yes, vinegar can dry out the cells. I actually talked about vinegar drying out cells in the colposcopy video, so if you didn't see that. So it can dry out cells and it can make them a little bit more, like, I don't know, crunchy, like it can basically make those cells a little bit less fluid filled. So maybe because they're less fluid filled, it feels tighter. But to me, that's not a great reason or not like a great thing to do because the, you're now you're drying out your vagina for somebody else to play. You're like, absolutely not. I'm sorry. I'm not going to buy into that at all. Keep the vinegar out the bath waters. Because no, okay? Because no is just the answer. So don't do that. And thanks for watching. And as always, please visit your friendly local gynecologist.